Microtransactions are coming to MCC? Well, it looks just like that depending on what 343 does from their statements on this community update post. So in this community update post, 343 started out talking about really great things coming to MCC, right? Like updated support when it comes to the Steam Workshop, which would be awesome for modding support with this game that would live on past its intended lifespan for sure. New customization options, quality of life improvements, and more beyond that, which sounds fantastic. We even have this new Bioroid <laughs> armor set coming to Halo 2 Anniversary, which just looks crazy and insane saying but you know more content a game that's you know what eight plus years old now at this point hell yeah if you guys are enjoying what you're watching right now make sure to tap the subscribe button we upload daily on this channel giving you guys information about anything gaming news related especially if you'd like some halo content we do stream every tuesday and thursday at 8 p.m pacific standard time on twitch as well if you guys want to follow there link in the description down below but let's get right back to those details though this paragraph right here is what people are all upset about when it comes to halo stuff right now so, so i was gonna read it for you guys so you got the full context saying for players who are new to the master chief collection or may not have dedicated much time specifically to unlocking items during these seasonal updates which now they're transitioning away from that seasonal format or are simply completionists looking to cash the last outstanding items they need we are internally exploring a potential new feature for the future in the form of purchasable spartan points which are going to be the season points being renamed as spartan points now this is something a lot of people have been very upset about a lot pretty much everyone i've seen online has basically been saying no please don't do this please don't put microtransactions into the Master Chief Collection. Since the Master Chief Collection is really the only way you can truly play these classic multiplayer experiences now, since most of the original servers have now all been officially shut down, that it's kind of almost like a bit of a time capsule in a way, a bit of a relic of like time that when we used to have like a lot of fun with Halo and stuff like that. I'm sure many of you who first started watching this channel, your first game is probably within that Master Chief Collection. So you have a more of a special connection with those games, which didn't have crazy microtransactions tied to them. So I'm sure many of us have this feeling of wanting to keep those games the same way that they had the same kind of feelings that we used to have with those games, right? Where it was just about paying 60 bucks and you get the full product. That was really great back then, but things have certainly changed. Maybe it's a little bit better, a little bit for worse on both sides, but I haven't really seen anybody who is okay with this. Most people either are indifferent with it because they're not playing Master Chief Collection anymore, or some people are adamantly saying, no, don't do this. I watched Mint Blitz video about this like a minute long thing but i think he brought up a really good point is saying 343 hasn't really gained the community's trust when it comes to implementing microtransactions into the game properly yes being cosmetic only in halo infinite was a good step forward but it seems like a lot of the good stuff that you want to unlock is within the store and not within the battle pass and so with 343 not having the trust of the community to implement microtransactions properly adding them into MCC just doesn't feel right. Because I feel like there's gonna be something more than just giving people the ability to buy Spartan points, which are now, which were seasonal points now are officially going to be called Spartan points, is that there's gonna be something involved with the game to incentivize people to buy the points. It's not gonna be simply, hey, if you wanna catch up and you don't have all the time to play, but you want all the stuff, buy the points. If that's the case, honestly, I'm totally fine with it because it's not gonna affect me in any way of my experience of joining the map enjoying the master chief collection i can still unlock everything in the game by just playing which i mainly did i still haven't really finished the season eight or the halo combat evolved battle passes it's because i just haven't had the motivation to do it so if you want to give people the opportunity to just buy the sparring points to get the unlocks then sure why not like it doesn't really bother me at all and why not because it might give a little bit of an opportunity for halo to earn a little bit of extra cash on the side to improve this development and help fund maybe a little bit of this development when it comes to additional services that are looking to add into this game still but i just have a feeling and i'm a lot of people have the same feeling as well that there's just going to be something scummy about this like something's going to make you mad about the spartan points and being able to purchase them because like what i said earlier 343 hasn't really gained the trust of the community to implement microtransactions in a way where it doesn't intrude on the experience of the game. This also just kind of ties into people's sentiment with Halo Infinite right now, where it's like, it's a good game, but it definitely could be a lot better. And the fact that they're looking to charge more money on some other kind of game 
but just it just doesn't feel right. I looked all over online. There has really not been a response by 343 of what people's sentiment is about this. I'm sure they're taking in the data right now and see what actually happens. This is a developing story, and as soon as it does get some more information, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. In some other Halo news, it looks like the DMR is in Halo Infinite in some capacity. I'll show you guys right here. This is a tweet from Halo.API. They've been known for credible leaks when it comes to this game. And you can see this image right here. This is within Halo Infinite, and it is the DMR right there. And a very series of other kind of images as well, showcasing like this is just like part of like the firing range kind of place within Halo Infinite. I think this is part more of the Spartan Academy location, which we kind of walked past within the uh, environment of Halo Infinite's uh, launch of the game, and also I think a little bit with the interference event as well. Uh, we do have a new event coming in mid-July, which is called Alpha Pack, which will kind of expand on the narrative story events that were started with season two, uh, but no word officially if the DMR is coming back into Halo Infinite. I know a lot of people would like to see it happen for sure because it's a very fun weapon. It's been in Halo since 2010, um, but it just needs to figure out if they can put it in the right place within the sandbox. So my thing is like, yeah, I love to have the DMR back in the game. It's one of my favorite weapons, I'd say, to use within Halo. But the thing is that I want to make sure that it fits the sandbox properly rather than just being a nostalgia hit. And anyways, the DMR was really implemented in the first place just as a replacement of the battle rifle in Halo Reach. And I talked about this in a previous video as well, saying like if you were to implement the DMR, how would it fit? Because basically yeah, the battle rifle is like the base level, you know, mid-range weapon, right? Then you have the weapon that's a little bit more efficient at long range with the stalker rifle which to me feels more like a true dmr type of weapon than the actual dmr ever felt like and then for more close range kind of long range engagements you have the commando rifle as well so where would this dmr kind of sit well it kind of depends on where 343 wants it to be or it just can be a complete nostalgia hit and just kind of implement it how it always was because i'm sure people have some expectations of what the dmr will act like in game if you lower the fire rate or increase the fire rate or something like that make it play a little different than what we've had in halo 5 4 as well as halo reach it just won't really feel like the dmr again this is mainly speculation because this is really just like an environment piece and not something that's part of the game but you can see right here within this tweet right like we have an image of the sniper rifle within the uh firing range right here which obviously we get to use the sniper rifle uh so you would think it maybe in the same capacity we could also use the dmr in some way again this is also just very much more of a set piece rather than like it looks like an actual weapon but of course once we get some more actual information about this being put into the game you know i'll share it with you guys here on the channel so if you guys are new to the channel or missed any content from me recently check out this place right here got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out